Probability IB questions number one. This question is a little ambiguous as it does not indicate whether or not we will be putting the marbles back after our first pick. I am assuming that this is without replacement, which means we're picking marbles and not replacing them back into the bag. What I did with this problem is I made it a little more manageable by drawing myself a picture. I drew out five red dots and three blue dots to symbolize the five red marbles and the three blue marbles. We count these up, we know that we have a total of eight marbles. So when we're creating this tree, our first part of the tree is going to be essentially our first pick of a marble out of this bag. We have two choices. We can either pick a red or we can pick a blue marble. The probability of picking a red marble, well, we can see that over here saying, okay, well, we have five red marbles out of a total of eight marbles. So this is a total of eight. We're picking five of them. The probability is five over eight. The probability of picking this blue marble then, well, that's three blue marbles out of a total of, again, eight marbles. So we can signify this as three over eight. With our second pick, we can say, all right, well, we picked a red marble. What's the probability that we're going to pick another red marble? Well, now we know that if we are at this branch, that we picked a red marble. So we took that out of the bag. It's no longer there. Therefore, we now have seven total marbles, which you can see down here. And four of those are left over because we already picked one of those red marbles. Now let's say we're looking for the probability of choosing a red marble on our first pick and then picking a blue marble. Well again, that red marble is gone, it's no longer in the bag, so our total number of marbles is seven, but we never touched the blue marbles. Those are still hanging out, so it's still three blue marbles over seven total marbles. Again, this is without replacing those marbles back in the bag. Well now let's say, okay, look down on our blue branch here. Let's say we already picked a blue marble on our first try. What's the probability that we're going to pick a red marble? Well again, that blue marble, we picked it out of the bag. It is gone. Now again, we can see that we have seven, blue mar or seven marbles left over. And we're looking for the probability of choosing a red marble in this case. Well, we never touched the red marbles, there's still five of them. So now we have five over seven. Now let's look at the probability of choosing a blue marble on our second pick. So what the probability is going to be on this branch. Well again, this blue marble is gone, we didn't put it back, so we only have two blue marbles left, and we have seven total marbles. So our seven goes in the bottom, our two blue that we have left goes up here on the top. As a reminder of how to use tree diagrams when we're figuring out probability, let's take a look at the probability of getting two reds. What we do is we multiply across our branches. So we multiply the probability of getting the first red by the probability of getting the second red. We can do the same thing when we're looking for the probability of getting two blue marbles. Just multiply across these branches. So we multiply the probability of getting the first blue marble times the probability of getting the second blue marble. In part B, it asks us to find the probability that both marbles are the same color. Well, we see that we have two events that fulfill this. We can either pick two red marbles or we can t pick two blue marbles. As a reminder, when it comes to our tree diagrams, we're going to multiply across the branches. We can multiply this way, multiply this way, 
Our purple is signifying multiplying. Multiply this way. So that means we can multiply our probability of getting two reds, probability of getting a red and a blue, probability of getting two blues, and probability of getting a blue and then a red. When we have two events that fulfill the same thing that we're looking for, we can say, well, if we're looking for picking two marbles in the same color, we can either pick two reds or two blues, which means we're going to add down this way. So again, multiplying across the branches, then at the end when we have two probabilities that fulfill the same thing we're looking for, we're going to add those together. You can see that work right here on problem B. So we said we can pick two reds or two blues to fulfill this, which is equal to the probability of getting two reds plus the probability of getting two blues. This gives us 13 over 28. Part C says if five marbles are chosen in a row at random, find the probability of choosing all five red ones. Well, we can go through and we can decide, okay, well, let's draw a tree diagram and take a look at this. And we're just focusing on what it's going to be like to choose five red marbles in a row. Well, we can also look at this in a different way. You don't always have to draw out pictures, but for me, drawing out pictures just makes a little bit more sense. I know that picking out the first is 5 eighths, picking out the second is 4 sevenths. We can see this um, right here on our Venn diagram, I mean on our tree diagram, excuse me. Then I move on. I say, okay, well how did I do this? I knew that I had gotten rid of one of these marbles to go over here. So I know that I picked a red marble, so it's no longer there. Now I just have four red marbles. I still have those three blue marbles, so I have seven total. Moving on to picking a third marble. Well, I know if I picked that red marble, I'm taking one of those out of the mix. So now I have three red marbles, three blue marbles, which gives us probably three over six, which of course can be reduced into something that we all know, which is going to be one half. Make that something you can see. So we know that three over six is going to reduce to one half. Then again, we take another marble out of the mix. We, when we chose that third one, so now we only have two red marbles left, which gives us two out of five. And again, for the fifth, we take out one marble, gives us one out of four. So essentially, we just keep pulling marbles out of this bag, which reduces our total number of marbles and reduces the number of red marbles that we have to choose from. So then our answer is going to be, well, what do we do when we're looking for probabilities down branches? We multiply. So we're going to multiply all of these together. So we know that the probability of, I guess, choosing five red marbles in a row is going to equal the 5 eighths times 4 sevenths, put a little, multiplied by one half multiplied by two fifths multiplied by one fourth. And I'm sure you're doing this along with me in your calculator. And that is going to equal one fifty six.